Hi there, everybody. My name is Alexander. I'm a tech lead, and I've been in the IT industry for almost two decades. I've been building various startups, including my own. And I would like to share my opinion on the state of the software engineering industry, what I see every day at work, and what type of developer, or to say professional, you should strive to be. So let's start maybe the video first with, uh, so, uh, with making some points about the developer that you should no longer strive to be, or if you're one, you should run away from that. I usually refer to these types of developers as uh, sweaty basement dwellers. And typically this is a person that just wants to go to work to write code. They're excited about this language or framework only. When you talk to them about the product or the company that they're working at, they typically don't care. They say, you know, I don't actually care about this product. I just want to write code, et cetera. The reason why this is becoming increasingly dangerous and why these types of people will get obsolete first is because they only have one function at work and that is writing code. As we can see with the various LLMs and all of these amazing tools coming out, and just remember, we're still at the very, very beginning of this, of this trend. You know, these tools will inherently get way better at doing some of these things that we are. They will get automated with all of these agents and stuff. And then at one point in time, we'll start, start asking questions. Well, if you can only write code, uh, that I tell you to write by creating tasks for you, then you're not so valuable to me, right? You can't just be a tool because, you know, we, we have replaced already manual work with machines and we have automated so many things in life today. So why would you think that us developers aren't going to meet the same fate as well, right? So the question then now is how the hell do you actually integrate yourself, build yourself up, work towards something that's going to make you more valuable. Because never forget, as I always say in my live streams as well, you are, I am, we are just products. We're walking products. Our physical and mental appearance is what people pay for, right? So we are a whole packages of things that somebody is willing to pay for. So how can you become a better package and how can you integrate yourself better? Well, first and foremost, drop the basement dweller thing. You first have to understand that writing code is has been a, a thing of abstraction uh, for many, many years now. So the thing is, if you go back 30, 40 years ago, we used to write assembly and a lot of low-level stuff. Then, as we can see, we've been moving decade by decade to more and more abstractions, right? And now we are almost at the natural level abstraction, where in a couple of years, undeniably, People will prompt something or talk to some speech API and they will build some code. So you can see this is not a trend that goes, just relates to the AI. This trend has been happening for decades. And I don't know why people are confused today or worried because any, anybody could see this decades ago. We started from a very low level binary and assembly programming to JavaScripts of the world, C sharps, Javas. And now, of course, we're moving to a different type of abstraction. So code is becoming more accessible, more understandable by non-technical people. And as we can see, this trend is going to continue. <clears throat> so to battle that, of course, you need to start building other skills. The core skill, as you probably know, is your social skills, your skills at work, building yourself up so you're approachable, you have empathy, you understand how products are built, you don't bash other people's codes or works because you understand that the code is built in very different circumstances by different people, by different competencies, by different timelines, by different, so many different variables. So in order to, to, to kind of move away from the mental block model that you have, you have to understand the circumstances in which all of the tools and products have been built before you can bash them. This way you will become humbler, you will remove your ego, and then you will slowly move from a sweaty basement dweller to a more of a professional balanced individual that understands that writing code is one tiny puzzle in the whole life cycle of a company. And let's discuss that now. Of course, starting today, what you should do, you should walk to your customer success team, your sales team, your marketing team, and talk to them. Ask your CES colleagues, hey guys, what are what is it that the customers are dealing with the most? You know, I know that you CES guys are patching up for our mistakes. You're apologizing for the bugs that the customers report to you. How can we do better? What can we do better? What are we, what should we, what should we focus on? 
you know, I've just spent 17 hours optimizing this function, but does actually anybody cares? Is anybody using that piece of product? So become a colleague, a person, an engineer, a professional, not just a code monkey. Then go to your sales and ask them, hey, what it is that you guys are dealing the most with when you're selling, what it is that people are having doubts about, what can we do better, et cetera, et cetera. And do the same for every other team. Show interest, integrate yourself, become approachable by others, and others will come to you, they will appreciate you, they will care about you, and you will be praised and promoted, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Next time you sit in a meeting with your product manager, with your team, next time you're doing sprint planning, next time you're doing your OKRs, objectives, and key results, don't be quiet. Try to contribute with ideation. Try to do the research. Try to say, hey, why are we doing this feature and not this feature? So become an integral part of the product and the whole life cycle of that product. Don't be a guy who just sits there, stares at his screen, and waits for the tasks to be created for you. Be more than that. So if you want to become more valuable, if you take this pen, right? This pen has one actual function. This pen, I take it and I can type something with it. I can throw that pen and replace it with the same pen and I will actually not care. This pen is gonna either do the same job in the same way or lesser, like it's gonna do a better job or worse job, but fundamentally I don't actually care. Both of these pens for me are the same thing. So don't be this pen, be the pen and the paper and the notebook, try to provide more than just one function at work. And you can only do this if you understand that the code that you're writing is a tiny piece of puzzle. Without your customer success, without your sales, without your marketing, without all of these themes, the code that you're writing, as many repositories or your side projects that I'm sure you have, would just sit on your Git repository somewhere. It would never be seen by anyone and it, nobody would ever care about it. So integrate yourself as an individual, as a professional, versus just a code monkey, just a useless tool. Next point is learn about business. Talk to your CTO, your CEO, soak in information, soak in everything that you can learn. There's so much stuff you can learn every day at work. Don't take that away from yourself. Don't just go to work to learn JavaScript, to learn React, to learn Rust. There's so much knowledge floating around in your organization. It's impressive. There's so many smart people in your marketing, in your sales, in your CS, in so many teams. Just talk to them. Ask them, how does this work? Oh, you know what, John Doe? I want to have a company one day myself. How does this work? How would I do this? Which tools are you using? Is there a better tool? What, are you, what, what do you dislike about that? So show interest. Show some, uh, Show interest, genuine interest into the product you're building. This way, other people will see, oh, wow, look at Alex, look at Jundo, look at Jamie, look at Anna. They're showing interest. They care. They're not here just because they have this one tiny piece of interest, which is programming. So learn about business. Learn about other things than programming. And um, this way, with all of this said, you will get a lot further than just being this thing. You're going to become a person that can show or add so much value during your sprints and during ideation because you have done your research, you care about the users, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So if you want to become a person that's difficult to obsolete, difficult to replace, but not difficult in a negative way, again, as I said, but a person that nobody wants to replace, become more than just a single function. This is, I believe, what's going to separ separate us or differentiate us from the AI. This is what's going to separate us from robots and machines. The empathy, the physical contact we have with our colleagues, uh, the, 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 the understanding and the interest we are showing versus just being one singular function tool, a code monkey that eventually and undeniably is going to get replaced. I wish you well. I hope this advice finds you well. It works for me and it has worked for many, many years. I'm genuinely uh, very happy at work. I'm autonomous. I'm excited about all of these details, not just about programming. I'm excited about how does this business works? Why does this work? Why does this doesn't work? How do investors work? How do you raise money? Why are we raising money now and not tomorrow or three years ago? There's so much stuff you can learn at work. 
You just have to strive. You have to ask questions and people will be more than happy to answer. In fact, they can't wait for you to ask something. So don't be a tool, be a professional, learn, integrate yourself, help others, be approachable. And I promise you, it's going to take you very, very far. I wish you best and I'll see you guys in another one. Peace out. Bye-bye.